You know, comedian Sebastian Maniscalco is playing here tonight. He's in this building right now. He's performing right now. He tells some pretty good jokes. What you just watched tonight on NBC Sports Philadelphia, it was a bad joke. Very bad joke. 9-1 Washington over the Phillies as we welcome you the Phillies Post Game Live presented by Cure Auto Insurance. Here's the very funny Ricky Batalico, the humorous Ruben Amaro Jr. Got to smile a little bit. They are in the playoffs. They have clinched the bye. They don't have, well, I, well, because it's a, such a bad, sick joke. What did you get good out of that game? Um, nothing like, really. I got some. I got some nice use. Besides, of the Hayes hits a home run for the Phillies. What did you come? Nothing out of at all. Well, I'll that tell you. Game that was here's even the, here's the deal. Good. Thank you for asking me that. I, I'll tell you what the problem is. Ranger Suarez, the problem. We talked about it on the pregame program. And you look at a guy who, through the first three months of the season, was scintillating, ten and one, one point seven five, and ninety two and one third. In his last twelve starts, including tonight. He's 2-7, and 6.17 in 58 and one-third. Ricky Bowe, something's going on with Ranger Suarez that's very, very bad. I'm going to agree with you in a sense that whatever they said is going wrong with him, I would have him double-checked. I, I seriously would. I mean, if, if this is one of those things where you may not have done an, enough tests on whatever, what did we hear? It was his back, right? Yeah. Is that what we heard? I, I'm not 100%, uh, I mean, looking at this and saying – you know what, he's a, he's he should be fine by this time of year, but how is he not fine at this time of year? If it wasn't something deeper, something more, uh, I guess, paralyzing in a sense. I, I just don't understand how you can go out there and pitch and look the way he did from the time at the beginning of the season to his last whatever, how many starts, 12 starts, whatever you want to do. This is not the same guy we saw at the beginning of the season. Not even close. He's not locating his pitches. He has no oomph or no jump on his pitches, no finish on his pitches. His changeup isn't the same, and his break ball isn't the same, which tells me that's not the same person we're seeing right now. Yeah, and Ruben, when you look at the hits, the lack thereof, the runs, the lack thereof, you can't fake human emotion. Uh, I don't know to what degree they, they said to themselves, even if they didn't realize it, what, what are we playing for here? I know we got, we got a chance at the number one seed, but we're in the playoffs. We've got to buy. It might be better for the number two seed. I have to tell you, Michael, this was one of the most disappointing games I've seen this year, and I think that Rob Thompson is probably going to let him know because that was a very sloppy baseball game. Uh, some of the – they were physical errors, but some of those physical errors were sort of mental. They were not into the game. Obviously, they got taken out of that game by Ranger Suarez. But you still have to play the baseball game and play it right. They did not on a number of different levels. Uh, some balls have fallen in the outfield. Um, some plays that weren't made in the infield. And I think, you know, some, those are physical errors. But I think they're also mental in, in so much that I just don't think that they were into it. Uh, it was just a very, very poorly played game and something we're not accustomed to from the Phillies. And uh, uh, if I'm Rob Thompson, I'm PO'd. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not. I'm he not didn't very look happy. happy in the dugout. No, I he was say not, that. and he shouldn't be because that was not a great effort. That was yeah. not a good effort of, of baseball. Let's talk about a great broadcasting effort. Let's go down to D.C. Check in with John Cruck. Call tonight's game with Tom McCarthy. John, as you know, we're sponsored by Cure Auto Insurance. You have one of the lines of the night. You say we need to find a cure for this bad play, and I would say here, here. You also and Tom use the words disappointing and embarrassing. Not that losing's embarrassing, but the way they got there. What's going to be, uh, John, over the next two games now? Well, you got the ace on the mound tomorrow, so that should help things, uh, uh, you know, a lot. Uh, you know, because Zach has a chance to win the Cy Young. And, you know, tomorrow's an important game for him to reach that. Uh, uh, you know, what he set out to do at the start of the season is to win the Cy Young. But. Uh, yeah, this this Ranger, uh, I, I I wish I had an answer. I don't. Uh, I, you know, Ricky was right, though. Location, uh, finish on his pitches, nothing was there. And he put the Phillies behind in a hole. And, uh, you know, then then it just it, it got sloppy for him. And, and that's, that's unacceptable. Uh, and, you know, I don't know if Rob Thompson, I heard Ruben, you know, say something about Rob might, air these guys out a little bit. I don't know. Uh, I, I'm not sure if Rob would do that, but uh, I'm sure that he's going to have a talking to to a few of them about, uh, you know, what, what's been going on here 
uh, well, what just went on here tonight, be well, honest. By the way, what would you say went on there tonight? Because that was not a division champion going up against a poor Washington Nationals team tonight. Well, it was role reversal. The Nationals looked like the team was trying to get the best record in the National League, and the Phillies looked like a team playing out the string. Um, but, you know, when I was down there today talking to the guy, like they, they were same – same mode that they're in every every game uh and and i i know as a position player you know when your pitcher goes out and you know gives up six and two innings um you know you're you're like yeah, this might not be our night and but it still doesn't answer sloppy play bad base running um you know and everything else that went with it yeah, John, I mean, obviously not a lot of positives, but talk a little bit about Austin Hayes. Had a pretty good day. He's getting a chance to get his feet underneath him again. Uh, how's he look health-wise to you? Well, I like the fact that he got a he he got a fastball from Rainey and hit a hit a line drive rocket to left center for a home run. Look, Austin Hayes is is a guy that lost playing time in Baltimore, but prior to that, the last couple of years, he was a really good player, an all-star player for the Orioles last year and uh, you know so he he can make a difference and you know when you're when you have the Phillies lineup when these guys are going good and Austin Hayes is your ninth hitter uh, you know that that's a pretty dang deep lineup but uh, you know he it just nothing happened for him today offensively other than that and that's that's something that has to be fixed. John, and another quick one. Um, what happens now if we need a fourth starter in, you know, if the Phillies need a fourth starter in the playoffs? Who's going to be that guy? Because Ranger is not throwing like a, uh, like a playoff ready pitch starting pitcher right now. Yeah, and if they, if they don't think it's going to get any better by the time it it's comes up where you need a fourth starter in the postseason, I, I mean, I. I you know, do you have an opener? Do you have a bulk game? Do you? I mean, I don't know what what the answer is going to be, but uh, right now, you know, we talked about all season before Ranger got hurt, the depth of the Phillies pitching, five starters, five quality starters. Uh, you know, maybe I know Spencer Turnbull has been thrown to Spencer Turnbull, and uh, and maybe a possibility. Uh, but, I mean, you know, how long can he go? He hasn't pitched since, what, the second month of the season. So I, I, I don't have that answer, and I don't know what they're going to do. Uh, <laughs> you know, maybe they hope uh, Wheeler, Nola, and Christopher Sanchez pitch great, and they have a couple rainouts. John, they're a game and a half back of the Dodgers. Dodgers are at Colorado. They're up 6-1. They're going to be two games back of the Dodgers. Uh, they are at 94 wins right now. The best they can do is get to 96. Do you care about the overall number one seed, or would it be better to just let the chips fall where they may and deal with it? They might have a better advantage being the number two seed. Yeah, I, I think Sunday's going to be that determination. If the Phillies win tomorrow and the Dodgers lose, Sunday could be – you know, one of those huge games. And that's what I like about the way they've done things now with, you know, all the games start at the same time. West Coast games start at noon. You know, games on the East Coast start at 3. Uh, and and that, that to me makes it fair because the Dodgers can't wait and see what the Phillies are doing on Sunday and say, okay, you know, we've wrapped up the best record in the National League and, uh, you know, we can throw, you know, our bullpen yeah. guys, our minor league guys and just play out the string. Uh, but, you know, listen, if, even if they finish with the second best record in the National League, there's no guarantee the Dodgers are going to win the first series. There's no guarantee the Phillies are going to win the first series. So if the Dodgers lose, then the Phillies will have home field throughout. So, you know, I think we're making a lot about this best record in the National League. I think it would be great if the Phillies got it because they seem to have a home field advantage and they do play better at home. But – you know, there's no guarantee that the Dodgers are going to sweep through and, and that's who the Phillies are going to play in the uh, NLCS. So we just got to wait and see what happens. Completely agree. And all you need to do is look at the last two years and how the Phillies took advantage of the Braves at a much better spot, supposedly, and it did not happen. You're absolutely right. All right, my friend, thank you. We'll talk to you tomorrow right. pregame. John Cruck joining us from National Park. Chasing October, presented by your local Tri-State Toyota dealers. 
proud partners of the Philadelphia Phillies. And you look at the best records in the National League, and Ricky and Ruben, maybe John's right as the Phillies are set to fall two games back of the Dodgers with two games remaining. They can get the best overall record and host the NLCS or be the uh, home field advantage in the NLCS should they face the Dodgers. All they need to do is tie them for best record. They've got the tie break. Ricky Bo, does it matter really in the overall scheme of things? Yeah, I mean, yeah, if you're going to play the Dodgers, it would matter. Other than that, no, it doesn't really matter all that much. And I think John Cruck is 100% right. I mean, you, when you talk about the playoffs, you have to win to get to where you are anyways. All right, the Phillies are going to be the home team in the first round. They could be the home team in the second round if the Dodgers should lose. And that could happen. Anything could happen. No, I mean, we're talking like the, the Phillies are an automatic lock to go into NLCS. I mean, I think they'll get there, but are they a lock to get there? No, nothing's a lock. And you just got to continue to play your game. I, I, I think the more important thing here is you, you, could, you could sit here till you're blue in the face, talk about how, how important the number one seed is. Not that important right now because, number one, you're, you're going to be two games back after tonight. What is, is important is what we saw from Ranger Suarez tonight. If there's one thing you had to take out of the game tonight, what did you take out of it? And what I took out of it is Ranger Suarez is no good for the playoffs right now. Yeah, that he's, a, he's an issue. He's an out. An what do you right? do with him? Where do you put him? I'm Just a totally different person. And I'm concerned that he is – there's another health issue yeah. than besides just the back. The ball's not coming out of his hand at all. And, and here's the way you could look at this because I was a pitcher. Ruben, you know how to look at pitchers. You've been around a long time. When you look at pitchers, you look at the drive they're getting with their legs. And I will say this much. If Ranger Suarez is hurt, then he's hurt. But if he is not hurt, then there's a problem going on because he's getting no push with his legs. If you look at you pitchers, they love to drive with their legs towards home plate. He is getting so lazy with his legs going to home plate. And I have a weird feeling that Ruben's right, that something else is going on with Ranger. Because when you're not driving to home plate with your legs, that means you're, some, there's a problem somewhere in there. Yeah. And where it is, I don't know because we don't get that information. But that's not the same Ranger. That's not the guy I saw earlier on the season. And it starts with his tempo, by the way. What's my favorite thing about Ranger Suarez? You guys heard it all he the time. Gets it and fires. Watch him get it and fire it. He knows what he wants to do. Do you see that guy? No, he's struggling. Who is this so guy? You saw him bathe in sweat throughout the game. He did not look right. And we recall after his last start, he said, you know, my back was sore. I came off the IL. I babied my back. And in so doing, I failed to address my legs and my hips. And I've recognized that now. And I'm addressing it. And he was hopeful after his very last start. And then this tonight. What's Rob Thompson have to say about it? He's asked about Ranger Suarez's performance post game. What do you make of Ranger right now as, as you go into October? Yeah, um, I'm, I'm not concerned about his health, but you know, the stuff was down tonight. Uh, I think everybody saw that. But you know, I, I think the last two years, the final start of this in the season wasn't very good, kind of similar to this. So, you know, Maybe he needs a little bit of time off, which he'll get, and then pick it up with adrenaline in the playoffs. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. But, um, you know, it wasn't very crisp tonight. His last, really since he came back from the injury list, I think his ERA is over five. Yeah. I mean, just lack of command. I mean, is, that, is that? Yeah, it seems like a combination. The one start, he, his velocity was down, but his command was really good. And then he got his velocity, and he doesn't command like Ranger normally does. Tonight, it's kind of a mix and match of both. Is it concerning that like, you're hoping that maybe he can just like flip a switch once the postseason starts? I hope so. I, I think he did that last two years, so I hope he can do it again. Okay. As far as the club is concerned, he is healthy. Yes. Yeah. And he said, quote, I'm not worried about Rangers health. That's the first thing he said. And then he also said, quote, maybe he needs a little time off. He'll get it back with adrenaline in the playoffs. That is not good. 
But let me ask you guys, do you watch the game? If you watch the game, you could see that Ranger's not using his legs. Something is up there. Why is he not driving through with his legs? It almost seems like he's trying to cast the ball out to home plate. Usually as a pitcher, you want to drive the ball through. I always talk, talk about that, drive the ball through the, through the catcher's mitt. If you're not doing that, you're not doing your job. And I look at Ranger, and I saw Ranger today not doing his job. I thought his legs were extremely lazy for a starting pitcher tonight. Could that be because he is mentally babying himself because he does not want to re-injure the back, so he is not driving as he used to? He, he does not have his hips engaged as he used to because he doesn't want that thing tweaked again. That is a very good possibility, Michael, and it's a good point. You make a very good point. It's either that or it could be a physical issue where um, conditioning-wise, perhaps he's not where he needs to be as far as his lower half is concerned. I don't know that, but he may be, uh, you know, he, he may be backing off a little bit because he has some concern about his lower back because it's it's something that has it's a reoccurring thing. So uh, that is a possibility, but it, it's definitely not the same Ranger that we're accustomed to. It's uh, it, it, and it's really important because he is just too important to this staff as a whole. Even if he's not as a starter, he's had a tremendous amount of success as a reliever. He's even closed games uh, for this ball club in, you know, in, in the, the playoffs. And so, uh, I mean, this is a this is a big deal. I mean, this but is not a, a, not a small thing. You just brought up something interesting to me about being able to have him as a closer. He was in a setup role at one point, a long guy. Would you even think of putting him in the bullpen as a closer right now? Well, not as he's not as he's pitching right now, but again, you don't know whether he'll step forward during the course of the of the playoffs. Maybe he's backed off, as Michael said, a little bit because he's he's concerned about you know hurting himself. I'm not sure, but I don't trust it right now. I if I'm Rob him. Thompson or I'm Caleb Cotham, the pitching coach, I'm not trusting it, and and um and, and it's a concern. Like the, I said, the it's look not on a small Rob's thing. face looked like he he did not have have a good thought about Ranger tonight. Well, he just looked like he just didn't have an idea, no, no solution, because right. he's not worried about his arm. He's not worried about his elbow or shoulder. He said he, you know. He's no not concern, worried about his health. No concerns about his health. So it's, uh, so it's, uh, it's a bit of a dilemma, and it's an issue. Ranger Suarez recorded the last out of the NLCS in 2022. Last out. He was the last man standing on the hill for the Phillies. How about Ranger himself? Here he is with interpreter Diego Daniello. Did you want to have a decent start going into the playoffs to, you know, kind of get your confidence back? Obviamente quería terminar la temporada con una salida buena. No se dio. Pero nada, yo creo que Tener la mente, la mente fuerte para, para afrontar lo que viene. Obviamente, quería tener un buen inicio antes de los playoffs. No pasó, pero vamos a tener una mente fuerte y tener una buena mente para afrontar lo que viene. ¿Cómo te sientes físicamente hoy? Bien, bien, muy bien. ¿Cuán concerned are you against going into the postseason that you haven't really been able to string it together the past several starts? ¿Qué te pasa, no, mira, eh, sí, obviamente no he tenido eh, buena, buena salida, pero eh, me siento bien. Eh, y nada, ya pasar la, pasar la página, borrar todo eso y ya enfocarse ya que el, el objetivo ya creo que es uno solo ya en par de días que, que se termina la liga. Sí, obviamente no he tenido buenos starts, pero... Besides that, uh, I feel good, and it's again it's just a thing of turning the page over and uh, just a fresh beginning. Going into the playoffs are a couple of days now, and uh, we we have one, just one objective, and that's what we're focusing on right now. Are you, you still using that adjustment you mentioned the other day, where you're like using more of your lower half? And, like, is that still? Sí, yo creo que hoy no no fue no 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 fue ese no estaba en control hoy. Yo creo que Los pichos quebrados no estaban haciendo nada. Eh, no, estaba, no tenía localización hoy en mis picheos. Yo creo que eso eh, es porque parte no estaba utilizando bien el cuerpo. Eh, obviamente, hace un, uno trata de hacer los ajustes. Obviamente, en el juego no, no sucede esa cosa, pero ya, ya mañana eh, empezaré otra vez a trabajar en lo mismo.
Uh, today, I was I was just wasn't sharp today, and uh, my breaking ball wasn't working today. My breaking ball was just not breaking at all. It wasn't moving, and uh, my location was a little bit off today. So, obviously, uh, I I think I didn't use my body in the right way today, and. Uh, you know, sometimes you try to make adjustments during the game. Uh, today, did, that didn't happen, but uh, that that's just the way it is sometimes. Now, tomorrow, I'll get back to it and try and do and work on my adjustments again. You, you might go 12 days before pitching again. What can you do in that time to give yourself a better shot here? Lo que sea, lo que sea necesario para estar bien para para ese día. Whatever it takes me or whatever I need to do to be ready for that day. Rob was saying maybe like the adrenaline of the postseason will kind of take you to that next level. Do you think just pitching in a postseason game could get you more on track or is more need to be done there? No, 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 yo creo que eh, con, eh, yo creo que eso te va a ayudar bastante, especialmente en unos playoffs que eh, lo que todos queremos, eh, eh, donde queremos lanzar en unos playoffs. Eh, pero mira, yo creo que tomar en cuenta lo que ha pasado los últimos días para, para tratar de, de mejorar en lo que, en lo que viene. Yeah, I would say I think the playoff atmosphere is going to help us coming in. Uh, that's what everybody wants. Every, everyone wants the ball on a playoff game, and I, I think that's going to help. But uh, I'm taking notes of everything that's not working, and I'm just, you know, working hard and on learning uh, how to adjust to those new things.